This video will show you how to navigate to the self-assessment tool in 806. Once you log in to your web-based tip, you will need to select needs assessment from the left-hand menu. Then select self-assessment. You will notice six tabs at the top of the page. Each tab represents the analysis that you will need to complete for each essential action. Please make sure that you are completing all six analysis tabs prior to moving on from the self-assessment activity. You will also notice instructions at the top of the page. Please make sure that you review these instructions prior to completing the activities below. For each essential action, you will see the criteria as well as the key practice listed. You will also find an evidence box as well as a drop-down menu for current implementation. When selecting evidence, you will need to note any evidence collected in relation to each essential action and your reflection on current campus practices in relation to the relevant key practices. Using the success criteria as a guide, you will determine the campus's current implementation of each key practice by selecting from the drop down menu. When you are finished noting your evidence reflection and your current implementation for each key practice, you will select Save. You may also save your progress by scrolling to the bottom of the page and selecting Save All. When you are finished reflecting on each of your key practices, success criteria, evidence, and current implementation level, you may move on to the essential action reflection. Your essential action reflection is where you will note your current implementation level for each essential action. You may do so by choosing from the drop down menu. Please note that for each numerical indicator, there is a criteria. Please make sure that your criteria matches your reflections from earlier. You may select save or save all to note your progress. When you are finished completing your analysis for one essential action, you will need to scroll up to the top of the page, and then you may choose another essential action analysis from any of the tabs above. In this example, since I have just completed my essential action 1.1 analysis, I will move on to my essential action 2.1 analysis by selecting the EA 2.1 analysis tab. Now that I'm in the essential action 2.1 analysis tab, I will complete this page using the activities that we just saw earlier.